Hi, this is Power Talk with Ryan Layton at Sports Scene TV, and this week we get to talk about two of my passions. One, athletics. The second one is reading. We talk about player development all the time as coaches. How can we develop players to get them to be faster, jump higher, catch the ball better, swing the bat faster, etc.? But let's talk about professional development. Us as coaches, how can we get better? And a lot of that comes through reading books. Obviously, if you get a chance to meet some coaches, they're going to inspire you. But we don't get a chance to meet all the coaches we see that are being successful. So there's a couple books I want to talk about this week that I read that I know I'm not the only one that was inspired to become a better coach as well as a better person. And these are the books we want to talk about this week. My first book, got to start with the UCLA guy, sorry Trojans fans, but John Wooden. I think it's hard to argue that he's not one of the best coaches of all time no matter what sport. They Call Me Coach. This was a book that was actually given to me by one of my softball families. And it was right when we were about to go to state. We just went through districts. We were very successful. And I got this book. And after reading the book, I said, oh, we could be better. Makes it simple, whether he's talking about starting from learning how to put on your socks correctly, tying your shoes, all the way to his basketball philosophies. Most people know about his pyramid of success. But if you've not read, read this book, I highly recommend it. There's quotes throughout the book that you could use. Uh, I think every locker room I've been into from here across the nation, you always find a John Wooden quote, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, it doesn't matter. The guy's a legend. He does a great job. I highly recommend the book. He makes it so simple. You can see why he was successful and you can see why he had such great student athletes follow him. So John Wooden, they call me coach. First book I would definitely choose. Second book, SC fans are going to be mad at me because I went from UCLA to Notre Dame, I know. But Lou Holtz, great book, uh, Wins, Losses, and Lessons by Lou Holtz. Very inspirational. Uh, Lou Holtz is someone that was successful in several different programs that he coached, but not only in the field uh, of play, but as well as in the classrooms, teaching his young men, and in this case young men, uh, how to be successful in life outside of sports. Great book, another book that has a lot of good quotes that you could use for your teams, little inspiration walls, things you could put on your locker rooms or on the batting cages. Um, great. You don't have to be a Notre Dame fan. You don't have to be a Lou Holtz fan. I love listening to him each weekend, but if you get an opportunity, read this Lou Holtz book. You'll love it as a coach. It'll make you a better coach and a better person. All right, SC fans, it's time. Bring out Pom Pom Pete. Pete Carroll. Had a great opportunity to meet Pete Carroll a couple times. If you have not read Win Forever, do so. The first time I met Pete Carroll, he put me on check. Not too many times am I at SC and I'm that excited to meet a coach. Been around the facilities enough. It's always great to meet a coach, but I was a little nervous meeting him. Meeting him. And the first time I met him, I was not a head coach yet. I was offensive coordinator. And Pete Carroll asked me, if you're offensive coordinator, what's your offensive philosophy? And I started to think about what is my offensive philosophy? What do I... And he checked me right in the middle of my thinking and said, you don't know. And if you don't know, your coaches don't know. And if your coaches don't know, damn well, your players don't know. And from that point on, I started to think about my philosophy. He actually was inspired by the John Wooden book. He told me after his Patriots um, job that he kind of had to research, find his own philosophy. This book talks about competing, not just in the field, in the classroom, but in life. Uh, you know, Pete Carroll does a great job. You don't have to be an SC or Seahawks fan. You don't have to be a football fan to read this, to apply it to life skills. So highly encourage reading the Pete Carroll book, Win Forever. Next one is a book that's just recently came out. This is by my boy, Coach V, Villalami Tuavai, The Ring Man. If you haven't had a chance, YouTube or Google him. Great motivational speaker who is a very successful coach at the collegiate level. Uh, when he was a recruiter for the Boise State College program, we used to come down and share philosophies and share quotes. Uh, I, my favorite quote from him is, life is struggle. Struggle is life, but misery is optional. And I've had him come down several times to the Charles Brown camp. We had him speak to our players. We, we've had him speak to our teachers in our district. Highly motivational. If you haven't had a chance to read this book, look it up. It's on Barnes and Nobles. You'll enjoy it. It will help you spiritually. It will help you uh, as a coach, as an individual. And this goes for all avenues. And this is why I really like this book. I am now having my players start to read this book as well. My final book, is a book by Tony Dungy, The Mentor Leadership, or The Mentor Leader. Each one of us want to have captains on our teams. We are the leaders of the team as coaches, but we want our team to have its individual leaders. So not only do I want my coaches to read this, but I also had my captains read this. Any of my captains who wore a sweater vest, one of the things I wanted from them was to read The Mentor Leader by Tony Dungy. When I was in Harvard last year, I was in Coach Murphy's office, the head coach, and he had a bookshelf. I went over to the bookshelf, first book I saw was right here, because 
at Harvard, which produces a lot of the country's best, they also knew how important it is to create leaders. Those are my books that I highly suggest as coaches. Feel free to blog us, send us an email uh, to let us know what books we should be reading. Got a bunch of books, great to hear from you. Please let us know. Coaches, hope this helps you in your professional development.